Breaking news. Syrian state media are reporting Israel has conducted a rare daytime strike next to the Iranian embassy in Damascus. Reuters is citing Lebanese security sources saying that the airstrike killed a senior Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps leader, Mohammad Reza Zahedi. In 2010, you should know the U.S. Treasury sanctioned Zahedi, calling him the commander of the IRGC, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Quds Force in Lebanon, and he played a key role in Iran's support to Hezbollah. So much more we can learn about him. What we want to know now is did Israel hit a target that it wanted to? Trey Yinks has details. Trey, from the ground, what's happening? Yeah, Harris, good morning. This is an extremely significant development. According to Syrian state media, Mohammed Zahidi, one of the leaders of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps, a commander that was involved in the weapons shipments for Iran to groups like Hezbollah and Iran-backed Syrian Shia militias has been targeted in an Israeli airstrike this afternoon in Damascus, Syria. We have seen some of the aftermath video next to the Iranian embassy in Damascus indicating a massive explosion took place. Zahidi, one of the commanders very close to Ismail Khani, the general in charge of all Iranian activity across the Middle East. Now, if this is confirmed by the Iranians, we should be very clear what took place here. According to reports, an Israeli airstrike took out one of the top Iranian generals in the Middle East, targeting a facility linked to the Iranian embassy in Damascus, Syria. This is one of the most significant developments of the conflict so far, and it will have repercussions across the Middle East. We are waiting to hear from Iranian officials in Tehran, the Israeli military has not yet commented on the strike. And again, we are sourcing this information to Syrian state media. But the latest information that we have, Mohammed Zahidi, this top Iranian general, appears to have been killed in an Israeli strike this afternoon. Harris. All right. You talk about repercussions, consequences. What do you mean? What will that look like? What could it look like? Israeli forces will likely be on high alert throughout the day and into this evening. We should look back at recent history to see the types of responses the Iranians have conducted when their top generals have been targeted in similar strikes. We know that back in 2020, outside of Baghdad's international airport, when the Americans killed top Iranian General Qasem Soleimani, the Iranians fired ballistic missiles toward a U.S. base in western Iraq, the Al-Assad Air Base. Now, we don't know if there will be a similar response to this targeted assassination mm -hmm. today in Damascus, but it is an indication that the Israelis will have to remain on high alert, understanding that Iranian proxies in places like southern Lebanon could be further activated, as they already have been throughout the conflict over the past so 177 days, and possibly.